Hey folks, Kingstrom here, and uh, it's Friday night. You know, I'm ready just to kick back and chill and listen to vinyl for the evening. And I hopped on my uh, YouTube channel and discovered something pretty cool. Uh, six months ago to the day, uh, I joined the VC. Uh, I posted my first video on June 9th, today being the 9th of December. I've been on the VC for a straight six months. You know, yeah, it's not a year anniversary, but six months of the VC and it's just like flown by like this. You know, when I first discovered the VC, uh, I remember I was kind of in a funk as far as listening to music. I wasn't collecting CDs anymore. I definitely wasn't listening to the radio anymore because I can't stand the radio. Uh, I have an iPod. I, I wasn't listening to my iPod anymore. Uh, I basically was just getting burnt out on music and it, it even went as far as I was contemplating not being a drummer anymore, not being a musician anymore. Uh, I was really getting burnt out on music and then somehow by chance I happened to stumble upon uh, Spellerine's video, one of Spellerine's videos, then I found Jeff Reckerman, then I found Mr. Hall of Fame. After seeing these three guys do their videos, I just saw like this wall of vinyl in their house, and and I was just like, wow, wow, <laughs> you know, it was it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, I was blown away by it, and I started watching the videos, and that really lit a fire in me. Well, let me turn this down a little bit. That really lit a fire in me, and it made me want to um, uh, want to make videos of my own. But I saw the different uh, styles of music, you know, the real, the real eclectic taste of music. Uh, people were listening to thrash metal or death metal or they were listening to psychedelic music or they were listening to jazz and, you know, and other things. And I just thought, you know, with my musical taste, I don't think I'm going to get along, get, a, get along with everybody very well. I'm not going to fit in very well. So I decided just to watch videos but don't make them. <laughs> but I still continue to buy video, uh, vinyl records because uh, that really lit that really lit a fire in me to, to buy vinyl. And I had a small collection at the time, and uh, I started buying more and more, and started watching and I kept watching videos. And one day I watched Mr. Hall of Fame, one of Mr. Hall of Fame's videos, and I saw him show a Billy Ocean record <laughs> from the '80s. Billy Ocean, you know, Caribbean Queen. Billy Ocean, and I just thought to myself, if this guy can show Billy Ocean and talk about how much he loves listening to it, you know, what's stopping me from talking about a Pink Floyd record or or a Van Halen record or a Genesis record? I mean, it may seem common to a lot of people in BC, but you know, it's 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 me talking about music I love, and that's the whole point of this community. And so. So I thought, eh, so what if I don't fit in? Maybe someone might like it. And so I decided to give it a shot. So I said, the next time I go vinyl shopping, I bring the records home, I'm just gonna show everybody what I bought. And that was my first video. <laughs> and I've been on here ever since. And that was six months ago. I can't believe it was that long ago, but it went by so quick. And yeah, I mean, the VC pretty much reignited my love for music. Um, ever since then, Ever since then, you know, I, I've just been on a music frenzy, you know, I listen to CDs on my work truck all day at work and then I come home and I listen to vinyl most of the day and it just seems like I'm just listening to music non-stop. I don't care about te I don't care about television anymore or radio, I just want to listen to my music and so the VC kind of reignited my love for music again and I don't, I don't even think about quitting the drums anymore, uh, if anything I want to join more bands so so I mean, that that's that, that's one great thing the VC has done for me. So so it's been six months since I've been on here, folks. And you know, anyone who's been with me since June 9th all the way to now, you know, I thank all of you. If you if you're just joining me, welcome to my channel. If you've been with me since the, the beginning of the summer, you know, thanks for thanks for hanging out with me for so long. Um, it's been great. Uh, since it's the six month anniversary of me joining the VC, I wanted to share something with you guys and show a record. I decided if I'm going to show something, I'm going to show the, the first album to make a connection with me. Um, and uh, this goes back to when I was seven or eight years old. This was the first album to, to actually make a connection with me, like I said. Not just one song or two songs, but the whole thing, the whole, the whole record, every song. 
And the very first record that I was a big fan of was Earth, Wind & Fire's All In All. Uh, this is just <laughs> a great record. I mean, our, my brother was a huge fan of this album. And there's the, there's the gatefold. So my brother had this, but he didn't have the vinyl record. He had it on an 8-track tape. And I remember I used to go into our living room and it went into our big stereo and I put on headphones and I listened to this entire 8-track. <laughs> uh, every song. And I'm only a 7 or 8-year-old kid when this came out, when it was new. And I remember listening to it and I was blown away by it. I mean, a lot of, the, a lot of what's being said on here just completely goes over my head at the time. Um, but I knew I was listening to something awesome because I couldn't stop listening to it. I mean, I was I felt I was listening to something really, really, really huge. And, and um, <laughs> you know, I still have that effect when I listen to it now. It's like, like it's, just, it's awesome. It, this is just awesome. And I've loved this since I was a kid. And this was really the first, like I said, this was the first record to really connect with me. And this picture here is, is as cool as it looks. All these symbols that you see on here is supposed to mean everything falling under one God. So all this is under one God. And that's what all... I've read interviews with Maurice White and he's explained what this whole picture, this whole cover concept is about. It's all, and the name of the, of, the, of the album, all in all, is just one God. And I thought, well, that's a cool... That's, that's a cool... Uh, uh, thing to have for, for one of your albums and yeah this thing really blew my socks off when I was an eight-year-old kid I was like wow I'm listening to something you know you know that, that that's this really big and epic and you know if, if if it can pull me away from Saturday morning cartoons and breakfast cereal and Star Wars movies well then then that means there's something spectacular going on here and so this is like the first record to really reach me and then ever since then I kind of looked for records that make me feel the same way as this did and that really started my love for music and of course it get blown out of proportion once I became a drummer <laughs> well anyway that's gonna do it folks I just wanted to share that with you all in all being the first album I ever made a connection with and um, it's been a great six months and I hope for six more hope everybody's doing great I'll see you guys next video